welcome again to Retro Gaming Revisited. Today we've got Quake 3 Arena. This is the third instalment in the Quake series, two of the videos which I have already done. I didn't play this game on release, I must admit I was late to the uh, Quake 3 party, but from what I've been told it was a very it was a very good multiplayer game. There wasn't much in the way of a single player story like Quake 2 and Quake 1. This was, uh, I think this was pure multiplayer, purely multiplayer. Uh, a few things to note about the game was its amount of character models for multiplayer. You could choose from lots and lots of different models. These, I believe these were extras. Uh, the people that created the game, John Carmack and his crew. Uh, you had the guys, you had this dude on a skateboard, uh, this fat dude here, Bitterman, who I only realised recently is the guy f is the guy that you play in Quake 2. You've got the Doom guy, everyone knows who the Doom guy is and if you don't, shame on you. You've got the Grunt from the multiplayer for Quake 2. If you ever played it, you'll understand. I'm not sure about who these guys are. Oof. Jesus. I don't know who these people are. They're just, I think they were just characters put into the game. An eyeball on legs? Yeah, that's that's pretty standard for uh, for Quake and Doom. you got the Ranger from Quake 1. Why he's called Ranger, I do not know, but he's apparently a Ranger from Quake 1. We all remember that guy. And then Sarge, who I always pick because he has a cigar that actually lights up and looks like he's actually smoking while he's fighting. So we're going to go with Sarge, and you've got, like I said, you've got all these other ones. So there was a big, there was already a big, big, big bit of customization to begin with, and you can also choose the effects for your weapons. I always pick blue. So for example, the railgun. When you fire the railgun, it'd be a blue beam instead of a red beam which was set by default. Uh, you can do the controls and system options, game options, you can change a crosshair and such and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, we're not going to bother going through all the options because that's boring. So, what we're going to do is going to go to single player. Uh, that's, yeah, so I've pretty much completed up to there. So let's go from where I'm still playing. So there's me versus those other th Four. Where do I normally play it? Bring me, bring it on. Help me plenty. Yeah, help me plenty. Now that's I would consider that's what normal would be. Damia. Rack. Grunt. Slash. No, I'm not going to talk very much. As I will try and actually play this game. I am pretty rubbish at this. And it looks like I'm probably going to have my ass kicked. Which it for the lead. 
cool. Now how awesome was that? You have taken the lead. you're not aware I'm playing with a, a wireless mouse because I'm not using my regular setup. Not that it really matters anyway. Why are they chatting? Oh, I saw that coming as well. Okay, so yeah, that was Quake 3. Uh, I'm not going to do another match because that was pretty intense, but yeah, you get the general idea. So this one went for a pure multiplayer style of game, whereas the others were all story related. Um, uh, like I said, as far as I'm aware, this was this had no story. It was literally you just fight your way to the end of the tournament and you, you just become the best player in their universe. So. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed what you've been watching. Uh, if you want to, you can get Quake 3 on Steam and uh, through other other platforms as well. I would give it a go. It was it, it was a lot of fun. Um, it still can be. I was actually getting quite into it there. So this is definitely one to uh, dig out again if you do have a slightly older PC or laptop. If you've got a more modern laptop, this isn't... A, a very memory intensive game because because of its simplicity so I'm going to leave it there thanks very much for watching I hope you enjoy everything that you've been seeing and if you'd like to see more or you'd like to see what happens next with in regards to more videos coming out please click the subscribe button below give the video a like spread the word we'd really appreciate any extra 
word passing that you can do for us if you enjoyed what you've seen if you have any suggestions or what you would like or any games that you'd like to see in the future please leave it in the comments and we'll see what we can do about it so thanks very much thanks for watching and we'll see you on the flip side